D-Lo for, for boxing. All right, y'all, I had a chance to really, like, break this stuff down like I want to because I'm kind of out moving around. Now I took a little short vacation with my wife this weekend. But, um, man, I just want to talk about this Canelo Alvarez situation, you know, with uh, all of the hail Canelo hitting that the pound for pound number one best fighter and since such and such and all of this stuff. Man, Canelo's a good fighter. Um, I've never, I've never, I never said Canelo was a good fighter. Never said he wasn't great um, for today's standards. But at the same time, uh, I'm not gonna sit here and anoint this man as being something that I just simply don't believe he is. I don't even think Canelo's the best of the current crop of, you know, top tier fighters that we have today. Um, you know. When, when fighters start moving a certain way, for myself, I kind of I start to pull away from. Them. Uh, I I don't I don't want to hear this nonsense when people start talking about. Like I had a guy in one of my videos where in the comments, um, I basically just agreed with one of the comments. I think DB said something about how Canelo moves or something, and I said, you know, basically I see Canelo for, for who he is and because of who he is or whatever, I just, I don't mess with him, you know, like I just don't rock with him like that. And um, somebody came to the comment section and said, well, I must, I must despise and detest Floyd Mayweather for the same reason. Listen, I'm, I'm not crazy about Floyd Mayweather for several reasons, but at the end of the day, I don't detest or despise any of these fighters. Um, I look at it like this, these fighters are men, just like myself, and I expect men to move like men. And a lot of these guys, they are very protective of their records. They don't want to take certain risks. And, uh, and, and a lot of times, the first thing that people want to holler out is, oh, they're just doing like Floyd. Well, I, 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 have, to, I have to push back on that because you, when they talk about Floyd and what Floyd didn't do and this, that, and the other, man, it's like you're talking about a guy who fought just about everybody he could when he was younger, fought, tried to fight a lot of guys that couldn't. Then when he became the money man, of course, a lot of people wanted to fight him that he couldn't fight. I mean, yeah, there were some guys he should have fought that he didn't fight, but the man, you know what I'm saying, he got the names on his resume, and, uh, and he was older than a lot of these guys that people say that, oh, he ducked such and such until this and that. And then some of the people they say he ducked actually ducked him. You know, they actually had chip tooth, chip teeth that had to get fixed and stuff like that. I mean, man, I don't even really want to get into this. I don't really want to do no pro Floyd Mayweather video. But Canelo's no Floyd Mayweather. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Canelo, you know, is not fighting guys traditionally that are his age or younger. He's bad about fighting guys that are coming off of a loss or coming off of a tough fight or a guy like like and I say loss because Smith was coming off a loss. I mean he might have got the decision but his decision was as dubious as Canelo's decision over Laura. Um you know we see the favoritism with the judges Canelo's gotten in fights. We we see the situation with the Clembuterol where he, he failed the Clembuterol test and then all of a sudden, you know they changed the standards so that basically if he, he he could be right now, he could still be coming in with the same testing results that he came in with when he failed, but because they changed the standard, he's good to go. You know? And then from from what I'm under, what I'm understanding is that it wasn't even, you know, it's it not even Vada testing for the Smith fight, which I feel like when you got caught by Vada, I feel like from that point on, you should be required to test. You should be required to be enrolled annually in the year-round VADA testing, clean boxing program, no excuses, no exceptions, no exemptions. But, you know, that isn't what the case is. I mean, there's a lot of things that I just, you know what I'm saying, that I, can, that I can knock Canelo for. But at the end of the day, my thing is the, the main issues I have with him are the clauses that he likes to put into a lot of his fights that don't make sense. Um, the fact that there are guys in his weight classes that have titles that he refuses to fight, even though he made statements about wanting to become undisputed, but he only wanted to come undis become undisputed until certain people got titles that got in his way and then it wasn't important anymore. So, you know, I, I can't rock with that. 
But at the end of the day, is the man a good fighter or, or you know, potentially a great fighter by today's standards? I think so. But I also feel like you you can't you can't claim to be the absolute best without actually putting yourself through the test. And and he's not testing himself against the best fighters in their primes while he, he himself is only around 30 years old. You know, he should be fighting other guys around his age. Smith was the first guy in a while that was a, a marquee fighter that wasn't over the age of 30 or, or well into his 30s that Canelo fought. So I give him full credit for the fight against Smith. Um, do I feel like he dominated Smith like they said? Uh, no, nah, I didn't see it that way. But at the end of the day, I felt like he won, he won the fight. He won the fight convincingly enough for there not to be any kind of any kind of drama or any kind of um, controversy, anything like that. He did his job. And and as I stated, I expected him to beat Smith. I, I stated that in my um, breakdown video. But I'm going to leave it at that. Um, maybe somebody's going to come to the comment section talking crazy or whatever. I don't really care. I just had to get this off my chest. Um, Canelo's not that dude. I, I, I keep telling y'all. You know, when you see a fighter struggle with a certain style of fighter and he never fight somebody else with that style again, how can you be the best? You haven't even figured out how to beat the style that you struggle with, you know? So that's all I got to say on the subject. D-Lo 404 Boxing, I'm out.